Uh, joining me now is Mike from Stasis. How are you doing, Mike? Hey, I'm doing good. How you doing, Jeff? I am doing awesome. Excellent. So, uh, you're from Stasis. You're uh, out in uh, Portland, Maine area. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, a few of us live in New Hampshire, but you know we're most we're mostly Mainers in general, and the ex people too. Um, so you were telling me a little bit uh, off the air here uh, about kind of the history of the band and stuff. Why don't you uh, share that with the listeners? Uh, yeah, uh, we started in around uh, 2004 and made a few demos throughout the years, and one of them just got reissued in Spain on Dethrone Records, and uh, we had uh, for a long time we were a trio with no bass player, um, and then we all just, you know revolving door of people and all that and uh finally found some other people recently and uh we're a trio again but with a bass player and at one point we were four people but you know the new people are much more dedicated into the band than anyone else and ever in stasis history so it's a lot going a lot better and quicker and faster and greater now so with all the lineup changes and everything uh, i think you were saying that the current members of the band uh, were not part of the recording of uh, the Blood, Hun- uh, Blood Honey album that you just put out in December? Yeah, unfortunately, um, th- the newest members aren't on any recording except for like a bunch of tape live rehearsal stuff that we got, which we might release on tape eventually. But um, yeah, just uh, the other people from before and all that. So, uh, with the new members and, and the fact that they weren't part of the band before, are you guys gelling in a way that uh, you're all writing uh, together now, or is it still kind of uh, your project? No, it's uh, definitely um, Stasis is always whatever Stasis, whoever's in the band will add like their piece to it, you know what I mean? And uh, all the new stuff we're doing is totally coming, just pouring out of the three of us, and, and uh, the bass player wrote many, yeah, everyone's definitely contributing more than anyone else did before also in that area with a lot of your uh your music being uh instrumental or even just the fact that your songs are so in general i guess long come compared <laughs> to what you would normally you know find on an album or whatnot what do you i guess i'm kind of curious where you draw uh your inspiration and influences and stuff from yeah um I listen to a lot of uh, drone and doom and sludge metal, which tends to be slow sometimes. And you know, like Monarch or Moss, it's long segments of just you know really cool amplification and sun too. The band and the amps too are great. That's what uh, we use. We have all sun shit. And um, uh, yeah. Um, so I guess we're going to play uh, one of your songs in a minute here, uh, Never Too Late. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? Uh, yeah, Never Too Late. We had a, the get, a guest vocalist Craig Pillard from Incantation, and now he's in the uh, death metal band Dizma. Um, he did, it, uh, I think it was like 2010, early 2010, we did some vocals, and uh, we got it down. We just in The original version of the song was just like me doing the vocals, but... It's more like a carcass kind of thing where, like, two people kind of, like, overlay the vocals and stuff. So it was, like, probably a different sound for Stasis, but I think it was a something different from the mix. And that one's definitely long, and the, yeah, there's a really a nice acoustic ending at the end of it. It's also a different kind of feel for us, and uh, yeah, it's like a weird amalgamation of uh, shoegazing music and uh, doom metal, I guess. Excellent. Well... Why don't we take a listen to that then? Uh, This is Stasis with uh, Never Too Late.
All right, we are back with uh, Mike from Stasis. That was uh, never too late. I hope you enjoy that. As you all know, I like long songs, so it fits in very well with the layer here. <laughs> um, so what does Stasis have coming up in the future here? Um, yeah, on uh, March 6th, we have a show in Boston at O'Brien's Pub. And I'm not sure what bands are playing. I know uh, the Doom band Eerie's playing. And then on March 11th, we're playing the Seacoast Fuzz Fest in Dover, New Hampshire, and we're playing with Sour Vein. I believe uh, there's quite a few bands on. That's a like a little. It was about like ten band festival or something. I think, isn't it? Yeah, I th- one band's called Black Tie and Ichabod. I haven't heard of a lot of them yet. I know the Black Tie, and I think Bielsa Fuzz is on that one as well, aren't they? Maybe I, I, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, are you guys looking at? Uh, you were talking uh, about uh, Billy Anderson is going to be uh, remixing uh, the Blood Honey album. He's going to be remat. He's going to be remastering um, the Blood Honey album. Like there's a, a version on the line right now for download where I mastered it. Maybe it's not the cleanest thing. Billy's skills are really good. He sent some tracks to me already. It sounds really clear and really cool. I can't wait to share it with everyone else. Excellent. Are you guys looking at uh, writing anything else or uh, recording anything else now that you have this new, more solid lineup working for you? Yeah. Um, we, we already have uh, like five new songs. We're going to make an EP with probably three songs and a cover. And then uh, we're talking about doing a split 7-inch with Eerie and a split tape with Erie as well, maybe like more of a collaboration kind of thing, or, or both, maybe. And I was going to, one of the guys in that band also has a tape label, and uh, we were talking about that a little bit as well. Excellent. Um, I always like to ask people that, uh, that are kind enough to join me on the show, uh, seeing as this is all about underground music and everything, what are some of the new underground bands in your area that you think uh, people should be aware of? Yeah, um, there's a... Uh, well, they were an all-girl group called Stonewall Siren. They're from New Hampshire. They play like a, like a psychedelic kind of rock and roll sound. And then there's Eerie. And they're like a drone kind of instrumental band. And they, they have a huge wallet, like Marshalls and Sons. Really crazy sound. They're recording an album right now, too. And uh, we got Ram Lord. And they're from Maine as well. And they're like, uh, I don't know, I Hate God meets uh, Discharge, I guess, with some Dark Throne edges. And um, a band called Dementia 5. And they're like a cool psychedelic uh, rock band. And uh, also Devil Dinosaur, like a psychedelic uh, sludge uh, punk rock and roll kind of band from Maine as well. That's a, they are uh, from Maine as well? Yeah. Excellent. Um, anything else you guys got coming up? You got those couple shows you're looking at uh, doing any kind of tour or anything in the future? Yeah, um, we, we were talking about possibly doing a show in Montreal this summer. Um, and then uh, we're trying to have a little Northeast tour. And we're going to play with our friends in uh, So Is The Tongue from New Jersey and try to do a tour around uh, New England. For like, or, and maybe throw in Maryland too. Excellent. Um, yeah. So, how can people get a hold of you if they're looking to get in contact with you? Yeah, um, if any of the music, uh, there's uh, stasis, uh, stasismusic.com and there's a uh, Facebook slash Stasis Music. And uh, pretty much through those two, or YouTube, uh, Stasis the Band. And there's a MySpace, uh, Doomed Stasis. At my, uh, with MySpace, and uh, pretty much all those ones are all linked to each other. And then we got the mailing list on the official page if anyone wants to know exactly what, what we're doing and all that. Sign up. Excellent. Uh, well, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. Thank um, you very much, Jeff. I had a great time. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, we're going to play one more song from you. Uh, we've got Expression of Sin. Uh, before we go into that, would you like to uh, give us a lead-in to explain the song? Anything you got for us? Yeah, it's um, 
it's I think it's probably for me it's probably the best song on the album and it doesn't just have like the the screaming and the different kinds of vocals we got there's a part with some singing in it and some harmony going on and hopefully it sounds uh, I think it sounds pretty cool it was it was fun to try something different vocally and I hope to experiment more with that in the future and our new songs uh, maybe a little more on the angry side too but definitely want to do more singing like that in the more in the future all right well let's give it a listen thanks again mike and uh this is thank you stasis with expression of sin crank it up Thank you. 